Good morning, everyone. In this audio lecture, I am going to discuss some of the relevant points of the collector's wife written by Mitra Fukan. While in this novel, the collector's wife highlights the political situation which is inevitable in Fukan's fictional world. The novel moves through the kidnappings, extortion, political situation, political instability, which characterize life in Bharatpuri. Rukmini is the main protagonist and she is well educated and part time lecturer in a college. The college where Rukmini was teaching. A hub of political discussions were taking place at teacher's common room represent the anxiety that envelops the minds of every part of the resident. Rukmini is, Rukmini's married life is disturbed to a great extent due to the terrorist activities. It is ironical that the personal driver of Rukmini is discovered to be a mafia man. Rukmini gradually seems to lose her individuality. She continuously turns to Siddharth, her husband, for companionship, solace and all that she wants. But Siddharth has distanced himself from her and always remain busy doing official work as he is a DC. The only people with whom Rukmini has a deep connections are her in-laws who deeply care for her, but they are only rare visitors. They don't stay most of the time with her. Then Manoj, her friend, who suddenly comes to her life and offers her all that she had been wanting for. The love, companionship, friendship, physical intimacy he gave to her. But he too is unable to give her the constant pleasure of relationship. The kidnappings of the Mofe has created a disturbance in the small town of Parvatpuri that every Parvatpuri residents became bound to feel the tension and anxiety. Rukmini's contradictions and confrontation with such political disturbances have shattered her mental state. She is deeply disturbed to see that her students getting involved in political agitations and rallies, as per her thoughts, which would only result in hampering the careers of these bright students. In this novel, The Collector's Wife, Rukmini is not a political person, but she is very much a human person, according to Mitra Fukan. Mitra Fukan feels humanism rises naturally much higher than politics. Rukmini does not know the new. She is not interested in politi politics. But she is very much a kind-hearted human person and she has her own problems which are actually metaphorical or allegorical. She is trying to conceive that. She is not getting a child and in that Mitra Fukun tried to show this is inability to have a child. It shows the barrenness of Assam at this point. At this point she means to say there is nothing, there is no fertility, there is nothing, there is no fruiting happening but after a lot of crisis and so on but finally at the end of the story she finds that she is expecting a child, so that signifies some hope for the line of Assam. Whenever Fukun's, Fukun writes, she always empathizes completely with the main character, who are usually women. Fukun herself says that the character Rukmini is very close to her heart. Fukun was against the political system, against the political system in that time. Mitra Fukun, the character's wife, is one of our best novels. And Fukun has portrayed the full-blown insurgent movement throughout the novel, The Collector's Wife, and it has no doubt.